Hello, welcome back to Sarah Plays Gorok in Immortal Empires. I'm starting off here with Lord Mazdamundi, who is in fact not Gorok, who's trying to help our buddy Franz here, who's only got the Regiments of Renown because I don't know if the he's Empire. got any military buildings. He's got these two settlements. I, I feel really bad. Like, I feel like I need to give him a full territory and see if he can hold it. He's probably still at war with. The nation calls. Yeah, but I mean, Belagar's got two full armies here, so he's gotta be able to take on Vlad, right? One would think. The bigger issue is that we've got chaos here raiding my territory, which I don't appreciate. I must have stopped in the middle of a turn because oh maybe I just moved Mazda Mundi that's what I did yeah whoops didn't mean to do that so I feel like uh, I don't know man I don't want to give him this territory I could give him Kemperbad and Krugenheim but again it's still no 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 I need to stop I just I don't know if I'm going to be able to take out my my friends I feel like I need to be playing an evil faction in order to do that all right hopefully there's no scaven armies just hanging out here close victory with medium casualties so i don't really know if that's warranted all right let's try Let's try fighting this and see. I mean, he does have dark shards, but... Let's just fight it and see. See what happens. This could be a, a mistake. But I mean, the medium casualties, I feel like that's a little unfair. I've got three engines of the gods. I mean, come on. I don't remember what they do. We'll find out, but... I've got three of them, so I have, well, I do have a little bit of ranged support here with my salamanders and whatnot. So, I mean, this army is not a bad army, I don't think. All right. Don't press tab. Don't press tab as much as you want to. Don't do it. All right. Pull everybody back. Even you guys... Um, hmm. So yeah, she's got some shades in here somewhere. One unit of shades, I think. She's got one Dread Spears. Alright, she's got a bunch of heroes. She's on a dragon. And a mutant rat ogre, which is just random. That is horrifying. That is absolutely horrifying. I hate it so much. The dark shards I'm scared of, but they're not dark shards with shields. Oh, if only these guys were sentient and could help me fight. Come on, terracotta sentinels, help me save your lands. So I'll put these guys sort of as a front line. They will be good against the Charybdis and the Mutant Rat Ogre because they are, they have charge defense against large foes, which I believe both of them are large. So these guys aren't shield, they have more armor and more HP. They are not, oh no, they do have some range. They've got this. Burning alignment ability. I do think I remember Jason using that. Oops, I just moved the same guy. I'm gonna do it again. There we go. Okay, so then Stegodon's in the back as some longer ranged support. Oh, maybe I need to put my these guys are kind of like cannons-ish. 
I don't know if they can hit my allies or not, so. I really don't want the salamanders to get into melee. They always do. But then I'm going to stick some of these guys off to the side. I have my hero skink. It's our song. Is this? All right, skink priest. So I have the skink chief. Skink priest. Oh, this is my sword. Oh, okay. All right. Well, hold on. Put him kind of out front. Put that guy kind of out front. I don't know. That's another skink priest heavens. Okay. And then I've got my skink oracle. And then I'll have these guys off to the side. Actually, maybe I'll put one over here and one over here. Because I'd love to be able to... Yeah, I would love to be able to um, have them chase down dark shards, but... Uh-oh, she's shooting a fireball at somebody. Who's she shooting that at? These guys? Oh, she hit my my dino. So Okay, this is one of these abilities. Alright. Alright, so I want these guys to go after the dark shards. And the shades. Harass their back line. Oh, that's gonna hurt. That hurt a lot. I need to start throwing down spells. I'm getting smashed. Oh, I just made a move. still gonna hit? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's super long. No, it's not gonna hit. It sucks. Alright, I'm like super distracted here. All right, I need to pause for just a second because I am losing track of what I'm doing. And then let's have these guys. What's this? Blood Rack Medusa. Focus on you. Oh, that's doing some good damage. Oh, that was like a direct hit. That was, that was nice. Move up, move up, move up, move up, move up. Faster, faster, faster. Oh, yeah, that was good. Alright, now go after those dark shards. All right, I think I need everybody to move up a bit. So do you go after the... Actually, no, you need to heal yourself. All right, they're running away. I wonder if I can get them to stay where they're at for a comet. A little comet action. Did my comet go off? 
think it even went off. Oh, probably got distracted, that's why. Wait, don't scare him off. Don't scare him off. Don't scare him off. Crap. Oh, that still that still did some work on him. So this guy's taking some heat. Oh, my hero's almost dead. You guys need to come back here and help. Get you into melee mode. Oh, I dodged that one too. Well, that was lucky. That was good. Put a few buffs on these guys. Alright, those guys are shattered. Canine assassin is shattered. Alright, so let's see here. See if we can kill her. Probably not. Heal up a little bit while they're fleeing. Oh, I had all these spells too. Oh my gosh. Oh, good, she's dead. That's fantastic. If I can kill some of their. He's moving pretty fast. Their Cryptus, that would be lovely. Um, some of their faster guys. Dark shards have a speed of a little bit faster than me, so. Yeah, see if you can kill them off. And yeah, I don't think anybody else is going to be fast enough to kill them, so. You guys. Well, let's see. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna have time, I don't think. But this guy who's super damaged. I mean he's pretty damaged. Alright, we'll go on fast mode. Kill the hero. Oh I'm killing myself. Oops. Get a good charge off on him. Stomp him. Alright, good. You killed him. Can you kill these guys? These dark shards? Probably not. They're, they're really going. Alright, so... Probably still medium casualties. Although, since a lot of these are single entity, I don't know if it still counts the same or not. Close victory. That's what the auto resolve had for me, so. Again, the Ripper Dactyls, man, they're they're doing good. And then she got me with her spells, but what you gonna do? All in all, probably not too bad of a showing. She did have a lot of single single entities herself between the heroes and some of these larger. I actually completely forgot about the Bloodrack Medusas. So, that's on me. But I think it could have gone worse. I won't replenish. Well, my Temple Guard will replenish. So we'll go with that. All right. Now, the question is, who's sitting at Shiwu? Nobody? I don't know if I can hold this, but I want a place where I can replenish a little bit. So. Alright. I don't know, man. No. 
I'd like to encircle this, but... Pyrrhic victory with medium casualties. You know, that's not actually too bad considering... Oh man, this would be a good choke point, but... They have the range advantage, so... And they've got quite a few shades. Yeah, I think I'll just, oh, I'll just take this one. He's just making like nonsense sounds. Oh, I hope there's nobody like waiting in ambush for me. Salt. Actually, I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to put a a uh, garrison there, I think. So we've got quite a few Skaven armies. The Black Arcs just keep circling the coast. I can't really do much about them right now. They are faster than me. But I don't know where Lokir is. He's got to be coming down here somewhere. Like, he's got to be. Oh, boy. So Gorak just got done with the battle, and there's so many Skaven here. So, Pyrrhic victory with medium casualties taking on three of their armies. I don't think... And I lose my Bastilladon. I don't think I'm gonna lose that, though. They've got so many slingers. Yeah, I mean, I could just pick them off in lightning strike. Maybe that's what I'll have to do to try to mitigate casualties on my end, is just try to pick them off. One by one. That's why I took a lightning strike with Gorok. This army, of the ones listed there, have has the most high level units so we'll see i mean against gorok it's he's such a beast level 50 gorok is a tank man all right once again with the battle deployments uh i'm starting to realize especially against skaven my stegodons are better suited like up front, pretty much. I don't want to put some of the more wounded ones up there, but... Probably should put somebody just on the side. Grok. Alright, who am I missing? You. And you. I'll put you off to the side. Maybe you can come around and flank or something. I don't know, man. I don't think they had too much of a ranged threat with this army. Do they have any ranged units? I don't see any, so maybe my Ripperdactyls will be fine. Chase down the Storm Vermin. Although they did have... This was the one, I think, that had the Gorbeast Chariots, I think. Oh, Gorak, you can't be back there, buddy. You gotta be out front, my dude. Alright, let's do this. Yeah, so they have Chaos Warhounds. Oh, their chariots are behind. Okay. Oh, here's where all their slingers are. Gutter runners. They were stalking me. Taking some damage on that side, but that's okay. Oh, man. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. 
Get out of there. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I forgot they had gutter runners. Alright, so their chariots are going right for my stegodons. Oops, oops, not you. Not you. Just these guys. Come back to the safety. Come back to safety. Oh, you already. Okay. I can fix this. I can fix this. I can fix this. I mean, I don't even need the shield of Safari on Gorok. Yeah. Okay, you're rallying. Uh, you need to come to safety. Come to where I can heal you, please. I can't move them. Oh, I chose the wrong button again. So, Bastilladon, Crystal on these guys. Once they get closer, at least. Duck? Ah, oh, I was too late there. Darn it. Heal those guys up. a little boost. Are they are they stuck? Oh my gosh. It's really not doing that much damage actually, so I don't need to worry about it too much. Still it on. He's routing. All right, you guys can charge into my. Yeah, okay, that works. All right, where's this? Over these guys. Yeah, I really don't need to worry about that too much. 15 seconds. Heal up a little bit. Alright, they're just getting peppered. Maybe I'll put you in a melee and... Well, they're pretty fast. A little bit faster than me, but I'll chase them down at least. See if I can get both of them together. Probably not. Alright, I think we did it. But first, I need to heal my Ripper Dactyls. Try to heal up some of these other units. See if I can have Gorok run down these guys. If only I had the spell that made them so they couldn't move, because that would be super helpful. Actually, I can have the Razor Dons go after him, too. All of the Stegadons. And I could have Gorak do his speed. Oh, he's going to die so fast. Okay.
30 seconds. Do I have 30 seconds? I don't know. I don't think so, because... Well, I don't know. Heal, my boys. Heal. Chase him down, boys. You're not going to get it. You're not getting there. Not going to get there. Bummer. Oh, I'm panicking. <laughs> okay. All right. So it's not as bad as it could have been. All right. Decisive victory. Yeah. I had wanted to take fewer casualties, but it all worked out in the end, I, I suppose. And, I, like I said, those Temple Guard can tank a lot of that damage, which I didn't expect, so that's nice. And, like I said, the other armies are mostly Skaven Slave Slingers, I think. Which will be a pain, because they won't blob up around Gorok as much. And my cat is in front of the screen. So I'll have to look at this other screen. All right, buddy, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta go somewhere, bud. <laughs> he usually moves, and now he's not moving, buddy. <laughs> All right, there we go. Pyrrhic victory. I mean, I'll just. Lightning strike this. Again, fight this battle because I think the auto resolve is going to make it so I take casualties when I don't necessarily think that I will. Oh, interesting map. I want to be on the other side of that map with like a good ranged faction. That's what I like. One option is I could just have Gorok tank all of the Skaven Slave Slinger ammo until. Oh, not my chair, buddy. This is an expensive chair. So part of me wants to just rush. Get Croc a little bit closer. <laughs> oh, he's going to scratch my chair all up. Do they have stock? Oh, they're over there. I see them. Oh, they're all over there. Well, that's annoying. Buddy, we, we cannot be doing this, buddy. So I want to be careful with my ter or my ripper dactyls because they are so heavy in the range, the range department. I could just get him to stay like that. That's a nice little blob for one of my deliverance of Itza. Yeah, that doesn't really do much damage, so. I actually think he's level 47. I should have him go after Morlock. Harass their back line. Oh, I'm gonna miss that deliverance of pizza. I probably can't get out. So 
So let's have one of them go after them. One of them. Calm it down, make them break formation at least. Throw all the buffs up. Even the ones that don't matter, may as well do it anyway. Let's go him. Great ham wild. That was, is that the word? I don't know. Alright, wounded Morlock, the Grey Seer. He's dead. These guys just showed up. I don't know if they can catch him. Catch the side of him. Stop him. Stop him from going. Fight him. Puts guard mode on by default. Oh, he running. They are a little bit faster than he is, though, which stinks. Shoot him. All right. Well, the rest of you guys, let's see. Heal you up a little bit at least. And I turned out better than when I started, I think. See if I can heal a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. We're looking good. Just use one of these on this guy, and then we should be basically full health, I think. Oh, he's super far away. He's the one that ran. Oh, well. We're whittling them down little by little. I think. So didn't lose anybody that time. That's good. Killed their level 47 Gracier, so that was productive. And then I'll probably have to stop that because fighting all these battles is making my turns go even longer. But I think I'll do a back-to-back. -back. I just like to break it up so that it's not a huge... Because I, I personally, my attention span, I can't sit and watch like hours and hours long videos at one time. I need to take a break. So I try to make mine a little bit shorter. More palatable, I think. All right, so I know that this felt like it went by so fast, but I'm going to stop it here and then I'm probably going to pick it right back up with Gorok trying to take on these. And I almost think maybe I should just fight the blob together and see how it goes. But anyway, that's it for this time. Didn't even get through a turn. Started at 250, ending at 250, but that's just how it goes when you're fighting the battles. So hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope you guys will come back and see me in the next one.